Yo, what is good guys? It's Jidel and welcome back to the Too Hype Hot Tub Mukbang brought to you by DraftKings. Woo! Oh, yes. Thank you to DraftKings for partnering with me on this video. Guys, some big news from DraftKings. They've opened their own sports book. It's different than their typical daily fantasy. It's traditional sports betting, you know, the lines, money lines, all that. But the best part about it is it's located here in the United States. You don't have to go offshore ever again. DraftKings Sportsbook is the most reputable sports book in the United States, which means you can just take your money out of the account whenever you possibly need to do so. Make sure to download the DraftKings app and use code JIDEL to win up to $1,000 in free credit. Once you have the app downloaded, make sure to check it out. They have everything from player props, futures, and much, much more. If the sports book is not available in your state yet, don't forget about the DraftKings Fantasy app where you can win up to millions of dollars in prizes each week. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the new thing. Alright, now a lot of you are probably wondering why Cash and Jesse couldn't be here. Cash is out of town. Jesse, he's right here. Oh, hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Today, we're, do we're doing Cheesecake Factory mukbang. So, we got appetizers, we got quesadillas, mac and cheese balls. Just grab whatever you want, boys. Ooh, what is that sauce? Tamarind cashew. Try it. it sounds a little Zach out there. knows I'll the entire Yeah, Doug, how did you know that? Because that was I worked here for five years. I'm good. I'm not a sauce guy. I'm literally, I, I'm the type of eater. Beater? I don't... Eater? Oh. <laughs> what? Like, what? What's going on with your beard, dude? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. How? Mr. Mouth? I don't I didn't even eat know. that. Well, yeah, like people eat their fries with ketchup or whatever it may be. Me? You just raw dog them? You just raw fries, dog, man. Yeah, I eat raw fries dog. raw too. Unless it's like a really good like ranch sauce. Yeah, well, ranch? I don't different. like ketchup with fries. Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, yeah, barbecue can go good sometimes. I use Sweet Baby Ray's with like fish sticks, french fries, pizza. All right, boys. First question today. What do you think is the best video you've ever made? I loved like the James Harden video I did because that that was like my first like, damn like I really just filmed with an NBA superstar. But I think like I wasn't even really posting on your main channel at that time either. Nah, and and like you do that bitch up there and it went crazy. That shit still gets recommended to me, bro. And it's so copyrighted. Like <laughs> I think the whole thing is muted. <laughs> I just liked uh, like my early on like vlogging too like there was one event like I think there's one video like a VidCon vlog I did where I just met all of my like YouTube idols that that was like pretty dope for me and I feel like since then like everything just elevated in my career and like I learned so much and like met so many cool people I would say my first ever pack opening because I did a bunch of like weird edits in it and I thought it was the funniest thing ever and it was like the first video to do like well on my channel. I was hyped. Recently, I would say like, it was like a multi-sport battle royale. That one, I just loved how it came out. I think for me, it's between the vlog I made when I first met you guys on that ski trip. Oh, yeah. mm. So I was like, all right, I gotta go ham on this one. But, or the Scrabble video I made when I first made it oh, the moved into the one? house. Yeah. yeah. Bro, like Johnny the first Scrabble. thing I did when I moved into the house was I just built that board. Dude. You wore the fuck out of that board. Oh yeah, that shit's <laughs> we Chris ran it over. <laughs> it's crazy like the transition of like how we made our videos too. We all used to edit our own shit. We honestly did way too fucking much. Yeah, like, the daily prop, bro. Yeah. Days would last like a film day 13, 14 hours. Bro, and it would be 105 degrees out and six out of seven of us would be filming a basketball yeah. video. <laughs> when we all like all we did was basketball. Bro, we would bring our rigs when traveling. We would bring portable setups mm -hmm. and shit. Just to edit and get it out the next day. What about you, Zach? Oh, uh, man. My favorite, I would say like my, my early vlogs, like when I first moved out here to California with Chris and Jess, and like the vlog of me and Chris going to um, TwitchCon. I'd always look for like certain music to put in my video and like, I had to do like these like the transitions when it hit on the beat and I was like trying to figure it out and like Chris was like having to come up to my room and help me like he literally taught me how to edit Dude, while Zach editing would take the three video. hours for a fucking trick. <laughs> like a simple like Ten once seconds. I showed him the shortcut I'm like bro I had this... no I, I had no idea about like shortcuts and shit like that. And like, you had to click sound everything. waves and shit. I was just listening. He was like, dude, just look at the sound wave where it's <laughs> cut it. I, I, that was the same thing with me. Jesse showed me that. I'm like, I had no idea. I just, I'd never edited. I don't know, man. Still, that first bank video. Because, oh, yeah. like, 
and it, I mean, it had, the, it who was the like, best shooter in 2 Life? Yeah. That shit bang. That shit bang, bro. <laughs> but it was like, it was just like a cool video because we hadn't done bank or anything like that. But we had done like other mini games and shit, but that was the first bank video. And I was like, I think I had to teach Cash and Malcolm how to play bank. I mean, it had like, it had everybody in it from the beginning. So it's kind of crazy to look back on and like, it's, it's just super nostalgic. Like, yeah, I was just really excited about that one. Dude, I gotta say when, when you, uh, Chris, you and Jesse were doing those Target vlogs, bro. Oh, and just, bro. Target and when you got stuck, stuck on the roof. <laughs> bro, we would get mean, bro. I would get so many, I'd get tagged in all this shit. Like YouTubers be like, go in like five minute random shopping vlog and then like, Gone sexual, <laughs> and then like, like bro, I was old doing, cringe pictures. Bro, oh my god, bro, I would take like, I would li like, dude, I don't even know how I came up with half the shit I did. My thumbnail was literally a blow up doll of Steph Curry, and I was like, I found Steph Curry in Target. Now it's like when I look at it, I'm like, why? How do I even think of like, why would I make that my title? I don't know. And then my mindset's just completely different. And as you get older, that just naturally. I feel like YouTube has changed too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I mean, you kind of like you had to like certain points of like your career to just be seen. You have to like you know adapt to like what everyone else is doing. Otherwise, like you just it'll never be seen. Entrees? Yeah, entrees. What was your guys' favorite Entree? app? The cheese balls. Yeah, the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese ball. Oh, ball, I thought you were talking about like phone apps. <laughs> I thought too. <laughs> then I was like, oh yeah, we're eating. What do we got here? Miso oh. salmon. Miso salmon. What's your usual cheesecake order? Pasta. Oh, that thing's good. Entrees? Did everyone grab the salmon pasta? Yep. Mm -hmm. So everyone, of course, every time it's NBA season, people just want to know like our takes on literally everything. So I'm just gonna ask, who do you think the MVP is gonna be? Luka Doncic or Giannis again? I fully hmm. agree with Chris. Like those are my East and West picks. Yeah, I don't see anybody else. I think Luka is definitely the favorite, but if Philly's decent, I could see Embiid having a little run. They don't ship out been quick enough, I don't think it's gonna happen. Hey, you do not. Bro, I don't think he's going anywhere. I am. Dude, did you see the Pacer rumors? Pacer rumors? Really? Brogdon, LeVert, and a first round pick. Benson. Oh, for Ben? That's not bad. That's not bad. If I'm the Sixers, oh, like, and then the Pacers getting Ben Simmons. I mean, they still got Sabonis, like, in Miles Turner. I just hate with, it would be so awkward seeing him in an Indiana jersey, but that's not a bad trade. It's like no shooting. Turner's gotten better, a little bit better. Sabonis can hit off off pass. He can catch and shoot up. He doesn't really create his own jump shots, but. What do you guys have for the championship? Nets in five. Like show in six, baby. Are you saying that, are you assuming Kyrie's gonna play, or you don't, do you think he's gonna play or not play this year? Yeah, he's gonna play. He's gonna play? He's gonna get it, dude. So if he's not vaccinated, he's not allowed to play? He just can't play majority of the games. Um, Jeff, do you mind? We turn it, the heat down because uh, cool. like it's, it's like getting hot in here. It's bad. My forehead's sweating. Yeah, this is this part of the, the mukbang where we become dehydrated because <laughs> yeah. it is scorching yeah. hot? Yeah, what, what happened? Jeff's just over there laughing at us right now. You think that shit's funny, Jeff? Yeah, Jeff, what's going on, bro? Just get taken down for dangerous acts on TikTok. This would be, yes. Being in a hot tub longer than t 10 minutes is actually dangerous. And because you can't go into water 30 minutes after you drink. I never understood that myth. Yeah, that's bullshit. No, but I, like, what is, like, it causes what? Like, going? It causes cramps. Dessert time? Dessert? All right, let's, let's finish off one bold prediction for this season. One bold prediction. I think, I could list all the, I'm going to list all the awards. We got MVP, Luka Doncic. We got six man of the year. It's going to be... Now, this may be a casual answer, but I think it's going to be someone from Chicago because I don't know their actual fucking lineup, but I think no, it's no, going to no. be Caruso. I understand that. That's fair. I yeah. think Caruso. Who won Defensive Player of the Year? Somehow Rudy? Gobert again. Oh, my God. All right. I'm so sick of it. So I think it's going to be Giannis. Coach of the Year. Who won that this year? Oh, you, you know what? I think it might have been Monty Williams for the Suns. Sun. The Suns. Sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sun. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was going to say, I don't think it was the Sixers. You know, I think, I think the Sixers... No, dude, I just, it's because of Ben, I, I think that's... They're, they're going to be, like, probably a play-in six seed. Something you know like what? I think, like, Nets are going to steamroll this year. Steve? Steve is going to win. Is Clay coming back this year? Well, dude, I heard later. he's not coming back till January. Ooh. Maybe he'll be back 2022. 
That's crazy, bro. I feel like That's I've been watching. What was his full injury years. again? ACL. ACL. He just kept like right as he was gonna come back, he tore it in fucking yeah. practice. Bro. He tore. It. Was it the same leg or the other leg? Same. Oh, same leg. Oh, that sucks. Bro, this mukbang is the hottest one you've yeah, done. Yeah, this James. is this is scorching. We're gonna. I'll I'll give You're my lit. take. Right, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> yeah, let, me, let me put this down. Oh, Let's move on thing. to the cheesecakes. My bold take is that Scotty Barnes is gonna win Rookie of the Year. Is that a bold take? Hey, he's not the favorite. So. Rookie talk. Yeah, Scotty Barnes, after watching him in the preseason, I think he's the most slept on player in the NBA. You know, he has the fourth pick for a reason. 6'9", like, point guard, I would say. Yeah. His looks don't make him seem like he would be. He's like slow LeBron. I don't know if I could say LeBron, just because, like, in my opinion, I think LeBron was a better shooter at, out the gate. Now, obviously, that was. Yeah. But I get what you're saying, like, playmaking, like, Bit, yeah, like, his playmaking, bro, to get people open was wild. And then he just seems like a really good athlete. Like he can like just rise up off of one dribble. Like it's crazy. Who do you think's gonna be a bust? I don't like being negative, but who do you think's gonna Probably be a, he's from the a bust this oh, year? All right, a bust. A bust. See, this is tough because. If this you asked me before class. Summer League, I probably would have said Jalen Green because he's undersized. I literally would have said the same thing, but that boy can But he, he looked pretty good. I know Summer League isn't the end-all be-all, but I feel like when guys are good in Summer League, they're usually not bad in the NBA. Yeah, every guy that, like every all-star. Well. Like, sometimes you're bad Dude. in Summer League, good in the NBA, but usually when you're good in Summer League, unless I'm forgetting somebody, but I don't know. Hey, bro, the Nets got a fucking bucket, bro. Cam Thomas. Um, not sure how it'll fit into their play style, Rotation. but... <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean... How much burn is he gonna get, bro? Bro, if they're up, like, he'll just go from a 20 point lead to 30 because he's just gonna give him buckets. I don't know if he'll be a bust, but I think people might treat him like this after his rookie year, but I think Mobley's gonna have a hard time putting up, like, exciting numbers mm. as Dude, a rookie. Am I tripping? Mm. Or do the Cavs have, like, five centers or five? They have, yeah, Jared Allen is too good to not start, right? And I don't know if they'll play together. Plus, Sexton, I think, who knows? Scarlett's I think good. Mobley is not. Physically Ready. matured enough to be in the NBA. I think once he, Dude. he's like one of those guys that it'll take him a couple years. He comes in skinny, but then I feel like he has the frame to bulk up. But he just needs to get with one of those NBA dietitians and strength coaches, and he's gonna become Dude. a fucking monster. Yeah, he's gonna be like. I think he's gonna be a. I think he's gonna be like Bosch. That's exactly how Bosch came in. And Super ironically, and then got bigger. They and were the same pick. I'm pretty sure. Well, Bosch was four. I think he was three. Was Bosch four? three? I think it was four, bro. D Wade was. Oh, you're right. D Wade yeah. was three, right? No, it no. was. It was LeBron. LeBron. Darko. Darko Mello. 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 Then. Uh, then Bosch. Bosch then Wade. Then Wade. Yeah. yeah. Imagine picking Darko no, over Mello. <laughs> any of those three, bro. Bro, and they still won the championship. Imagine if they took Mello. Or then Wade. They fucking dominate. Yeah. <laughs> that dude has a ring, and well, <laughs> some of the other picks doesn't. Yes. Yet. Yet. So this year. <laughs> hey bro, you picked the Nets. I did, but you know why? Jake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say it. Mm -hmm. You guys know that. If you know, you know. Because what was our prediction? Back back to the video you did. You know? Every bro, time. What series did we all get wrong? We got, Every single dude, one. We, yeah, we yeah. fucked up. <laughs> Every we literally, after one, the first James. round, our brackets were fucked. Ain't Cash picked Milwaukee over Brooklyn, but having watched it, I feel like the wrong team won. <laughs> Bro, it's because they were short-handed. <laughs> yeah, like Brooklyn was so much better. Durant like yeah. was one like inch away, bro. He was so close to making that game. Well, if he didn't fucking have Kanuki. All right, out of everybody in the NBA, every like your life is on the line. Uh -huh. Who are Iguodala! You, who are you passing the ball to to get a three point? You need a three point. You and need you, a three. And you can't tie. You have to win. I'm gonna go Curry. With I'll give you a time because that's pretty important too. What team are we playing? Five seconds. I'd probably I'd the probably the best team in the league. Like it's just like you have to play the best team. Whoever you pick, the best defender at their position is guarding them. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I think I would take Curry. Yeah, I don't know if I'd pick Curry shooting over Drew. Alright, you have the ball at half. You have the ball at half. Out of bounds. You have the ball at half. Five out seconds. of bounds. You got five Head seconds. So you can take. You can take maybe you can like take one, one dribble. dribble. You can make one move. I'm gonna be honest. You, know, dude. you only get one misdirection though. I think I'm gonna give it to Dame. Bro. I'm thinking Dame too. Oh, Dame's a good one. I'm taking Curry myself. No, I'm, I'm picking Kevin Durant. 
I remember it's your life. You die if you miss it. Damn. The reason I'm taking Curry, the Dame is a good choice too, is because Curry doesn't have to catch it at the three point line. He could catch it at half court and just he's still a threat. So it's yeah. gonna be easy for him to get over. Or but Steven you know what? I think Curry's better at that when he's dribbling up, though, not from a half court set. Like this might be up. a hot take, but I feel like he's gonna get. A, I mean, he gained a lot of respect last year, but I think he's gonna gain even more this year. I'm passing in to Zach Levine. He's one of the he's best. He's gonna elevate and get the shooters. He's gonna get and the shot elevating up. over people that yeah. I've seen in the last like couple years, bro. I did see an interview. I can't remember who said it, but they were talking about like the hardest people to guard in the NBA. And they were like, who's the hardest to guard or whatever? And he said, well, I mean, you could say Kevin Durant, but you literally can't guard him. Like, when you're on the floor, you're playing defense, he doesn't he doesn't see you. When he goes to shoot, when he makes a yeah, move, you're not you can't phase his shot. He knows no one can touch it. Yeah, exactly. You, you, like, there's nothing you can do. If he misses, it's because he missed. Uh, top three in scoring this year. What is, what is your prediction? I think Luka okay. will be, like, third. Curry will be one or two, and then I'm gonna give it to Bradley Beal. I'm putting Devin Booker up there. That's tough. There's a lot of guys that I'm like, like Paul George is not gonna get at 30 points a game, nah. but he's in a situation where he could. Dude, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go Jason Tatum. I was also thinking that. I would say Luca, Curry, and Zach Levine. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I don't think I think Beal honorable mention, but I don't think he's gonna do. I think. Well, dude, nah, so bro. Levine, he is all by himself. No, this year. that dude, is true. Levine yeah, he has is all by himself, bro. Yeah. And, That's and the only Caruso. reason I didn't. But bro, he, bro, but but he'll get his. But DeRozan is. DeRozan's getting the ball moving to the hole. Levine's getting all the shots. I think, bro, he really. I think he honestly could. All right, bro. MVP. I have to get out. It's so cold. I'm like, this is an ice bath. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the mukbang. Next time, I'm gonna try to get the full squad here. It's just hard to get everyone in town at the same time. Shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. We love you, DraftKings. Make sure to check out all the boys' channels linked below in the description. Hope you're having a great day. Peace.